So next, uh, we want to um, to ship uh, container images. Um, so here, I'm going to uh, uh, to take a slight shortcut. Um, first, why do we need to ship images? Uh, it, this morning, when we ran Docker coins on a single node, we didn't need to ship because we built and we ran on the same node. So I don't need to move my image around. But now I have a whole cluster, so I need my images. So the image for Worker, for Hasher, for RNG, for WebUI. I need these images to be present on, on, on the nodes where I want to run them. So that's why I need to ship these images around. The easiest way to ship the images will be by using a container registry. Because once the images are on a registry, I just need to reference them. So, <clears throat> for instance, um, and, and this kind of uh, loops on a question that was asked earlier, like where, where does Alpine come from when I do uh, um, Docker run Alpine or kubectl run dash dash image Alpine? Um, so it, it gets expanded to library Alpine, which itself gets expanded to index Docker IO library Alpine. And then when the Docker engine or whatever engine you use uh, needs to create that container, it's going to communicate with the registry pull the image, and then create the container. Uh, if I want to use an image that is on a different registry, uh, I would specify the full registry address uh, in, in the image name. For instance, this, the, the, the thing I highlighted on the screen, is a valid image name. So that's gcr.io, so that's the Google Cloud registry, slash Google containers, slash Alpine with bash version 1.0. So what I will typically do as part of uh, my deployment on Kubernetes is that I will want to have something creating my images. And that's that's why I said I'm going to take a small shortcut. I'm not going to show that, that whole part uh, because uh, there are many, many ways to create images now. And so I, I don't want to be too opinionated there. Um, but the images that we're going to use uh, for, for Docker coins uh, live on the Docker Hub and they are linked to an automated build. An automated build is one of the many ways that you can obtain images, and an, an, an automated build, excuse me, is an association between uh, a repo, in that case a GitHub repo, and an image on the Docker Hub. The way it works is that I have uh, my Docker coin source code on, on GitHub, and then on the Docker Hub, I, I set up a link between them, so that each time I push to my repo on GitHub, there's going to be a webhook to inform the Docker Hub, hey, there, there was a new, there was a, a push just happened to that repo. So the Docker Hub is going to uh, pull the, the code repo, build the container images, and push the container images. And you could have exactly the same thing, uh, if not with the Docker Hub, then with a, another platform, or you could use Jenkins, or... Uh, any other system like that to, to obtain your images. So here we have a bunch of images. Um, so let's see, I'll just keep that. There we go. Voila. Um, so the images that I want to use are uh, docker coin slash walker, docker coin slash rng, docker coin slash hasher, etc. etc. Um, 